China is a evil party. Hong Kong, no more to stand with China. We need independence. Yep. And what's your, what's your message to... Do, you, have you seen Donald Trump? Do you think he should step in? Donald Trump don't trust China. China is asshole. We want the British government to come back and rule us again. We don't want the Chinese government to rule us anymore. You, you want the British to come back? Yes, of course. The Chinese government is terrible. What, what, what's your message to people who, who call the old British government a colonial power that used to uh, abuse the entire world no uh, simply we just want the British government to come back and rule us again is that simple okay so you think the British did well the British government did very well why have we got an American flag here today because we appreciate the American spirit we fight for freedom and democracy till death okay um, and so if, if uh, if you could send a message to Donald Trump, what would it be? Uh, Mr. Trump, uh, we are very humble and powerless people in Hong Kong. And we know that uh, when the Americans fight for their independence, they need to pay a lot, like for blood and life. And we are prepared for that. And in any moment, if you can help us, like the American people and President Trump, please help us. And I would like to have this chance to thank President Trump that speak uh, things in Hong Kong for us. Especially a few a few days ago, he uh, speak with a lot of uh, uh, powerful people in different country about Hong Kong situation, and we appreciate that. And thank you for thank you for him to help us uh, speak out the the hate situation in Hong Kong. And something we want to say to the American common people is that uh, be careful of uh, the Chinese. Uh, business activity because actually they will slowly corrupt your whole country. The workers who, who are in uh, the perfect... Crew that, yeah, to, the crew that joined the protest. Uh, China re requests Pacific, Cafe Pacific to give out a list of the of their crews that joined the protest and then the CEO refused. So he was, we think that he is forced to resign his position. Two of them. One of them is CEO. Yeah. I mean, Cafe Pacific is our company. Company. Why the hell the communists can we move, remove the CEO from us? I, we are very angry about this. And a few days ago, a few days ago, uh, something happened in the residential area in uh, Hong Kong, uh, a city called, uh, uh, an area called Sha Tin. Uh, in the residential area, uh, the government start to build the facial recognition system, which is the first step of their social credit system. They are trying to make Hong Kong like Xinjiang right now. I mean, if we fail this time, Hong Kong will be the second Xinjiang, and all of us, they already arrested 700 people. They, I'm sure they will end up in Xinjiang concentration camp. In my mind, uh, the communists, they are right now, they're actually like Nazi. I mean, I mean, uh, this is what I want to say to the American people and, uh, and Trump, and also to the rest of the world. Uh, this is our duty to fight against something like, something like Nazi. Yeah. If we don't fight here now, we will lose forever. It's no more Hong Kong. No. It's not not if, if if we lose in this battle, Hong Kong is not even an in, international city. It's just a state inside of China. Why, why should Americans care? Because because Americans are uh, very how to say it. Uh, they care for the freedom and democracy, and we are fighting for this now. So, I think I think they can choose not to care. I mean, uh, it's actually practically, it's it's really practically not their business. I, 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 I in my heart I know that, but it's like we are raising conscience, consent. It's like if you if you want to save us, if you want to safeguard this world, then support us. We're in the central district of Hong Kong, documenting a protest that was unfolding at noon. A protest full of business people. They were in high heels and business suits. This wasn't the regular protests that you've seen typically in international media. This is basically the Wall Street of Hong Kong. And while they were protesting, in a show of strength, following an embarrassing defeat of the pro-Beijing loyalists last night, Regina Ip, with her squadron of Hong Kong police force, pushed their way through an entire group, an entire block full of peaceful protesters in maybe a show of strength, you could call it, even though last night her party met an embarrassing 
defeat. How does it feel to betray the people of Hong Kong? Are you excited for the sanctions? How does it feel to betray the people of Hong Kong? Now, as she left, she got into a taxi cab, a nondescript taxi cab. It was very well orchestrated. This was a pre-planned provocation of these peaceful protesters. She got into this taxi cab and fled. And the police got into their uh, van, and as they did, the crowd went nuts, booing the police officers, in fact. And they eventually left, and the crowd almost immediately dispersed to get back to work. This is the Wall Street of Hong Kong, effectively. And these are not the typical protesters that you see wearing black and graffitiing the, uh, the streets. These are people who sit at desks at work uh, throughout the day and they came out to protest and celebrate even the victory that the democracy movement had last night. I think it seems like they were trying to get a reaction, trying to get people to break the law, to assault her even, so that she uh, could act like a martyr, so she could show the world that these protesters are violent, vile people. They weren't. She went through without a hitch. They just shouted at her and booed her and exercised the liberties that they're allowed to exercise for the meantime until 2047 when those liberties expire. We're standing here in the central district of Hong Kong where their daily lunch protests, they call it, are happening. Now what happens here is at 12.15 in the afternoon, they send out a text on Telegram saying where exactly it will happen. Yesterday it happened on a street, sort of in their Wall Street area, their equivalent here in Hong Kong. Today it's just in a mall and you can hear them shouting right now, stand with Hong Kong, fight for freedom. There's also posters like what we saw uh, at the rally outside of Pauli U yesterday. We heard from uh, candidates who went into Pauli University to mediate with the 20 uh, remaining political activists. Uh, they said that hopefully the university will be taking custody of the campus today. We haven't heard an update on that yet. We don't know if that's going to be happening for sure. And we also don't know if the police will actually agree to that. Now, Carrie Lam today came out with a few statements that were a bit surprising following her huge collapse in the polls on Sunday. She said today that the results meant that Hong Kongers were, one, disappointed in their government, which, yeah, that's pretty true. But the second statement was that Hong Kongers want to go back to normal. Now, that didn't really make much sense to me. And I'm going to ask these folks here today if they really believe that. Do they want things to be going back to normal? or do they want the government to give in to their five fairly reasonable demands? Let's go ask and see what they have to say. We cannot go back to our normal lives without fighting, without having the five demands. That's what we think because we were being silenced for almost like 20 years after we turned to China. This is the time we should stand out, step up to say what we really want. So we're not, there's no going back unless we, they, the government meets the five demands of us. What does your sign mean? And no one political party will forever be in power. All people like peace, but we also want justice. If justice is not done, how can people return to normal? That's an excerpt from The Ezra Levant Show, which is a show I do every day. I do a monologue, interview an interesting guest, and then I read my hate mail. But you've got to subscribe to it, which you can do at premium.rebelnews.com.